Hi, what's up? It's Micah back out again on my floor in my bedroom because my lighting is just basically what I'm working with, okay? I literally have this light that is only doing its job. In today's video, I just decided that I wanted to do some makeup. I haven't put on makeup in a long time, especially like a full face kind of like glamish kind of look, and I miss it low key. I want to do that today. So, yay, round of applause for trying to get back into certain things in my life that I love and appreciate so much. Yeah, I'm gonna do a makeup look that is inspired actually by this drink that I have right here. This is basically raspberry lemonade that I got last night when I was at Target. I think I have the colors I need. I'm just kind of rolling with the punches and see what kind of look I can come up with to be dead ass with you. So if you're interested in watching me do my makeup, then keep on watching because you never know what you're gonna get yourself into. Yeah, cheers to that. All right, let's get to it. I think I wanna do my face first and then I'm gonna go with the eyes. For the face, I'm actually gonna do something really different. I saw this makeup video that I found from Jordan Liberty. So he basically said that there are four steps to this. One being to moisturize, two setting powder, three setting spray, the last step being primer. Now I have never done that method ever, but you know what? You only live once, let's try it out, see what happens, wish me luck. So, for moisturizer, I'm gonna be using the Even Prime Daily Moisturizer. I actually really love this moisturizer. This is like my first ever purchase that I made from this brand. But anyways, I'm gonna go put this on my face and my neck too. The next step is to use setting powder on the face just to mattify everything as well as making your pores look poreless like they don't exist at all and that's on period you know what i'm saying i'm gonna be using this brush to set my face this could go well or this could end really bad i don't want to use too much of the product I am afraid that I'm gonna look super cakey. I swore I had a palette. Oh wait, no, actually, I know which one it is. It's this one that has a mirror. There we go. I'm gonna be taking the NYX Matte Finish Fini Matte Long Lasting Setting Spray. Uh, I haven't used this thing in a hot minute and I already miss it. So I'm gonna be taking the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Matte Face Primer. I'm gonna take a little bit of it and I'm just gonna use my fingers to spread it around my face. If this shit don't work, you're gonna have some problems. Well, not really. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> not that traumatic. Well, <laughs> I think I'm gonna put a little bit more of that primer on my forehead because I always run out of product whenever I get to this part of my face. I think it's just because my face is like thick. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like, it's pretty round. Oh, another good tip that I recommend is to actually pat the primer down so that it can actually like seep through your pores. So now that we prepped the skin, it's time for real makeup, okay? So I'm finally gonna get my hands back into this baby right here. So I got a notification on my phone saying that battery is 20%. This is a L'Oreal Infallible uh, 24 hour fresh wear. I'm gonna squeeze some pumps on in this palette that I have. Once I've done that, then we could just lay down the product on our face. So I'm gonna be taking this Morphe foundation brush and I'm just gonna buff this onto the skin like so. I really wanna try like new foundations because so far the only things that I've tried are like, I mean, here's the thing, I've tried foundation from NYX as well as L'Oreal. And I also kind of went back and forth with tinted moisturizers. Recently, I bought myself the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. It looked really good with my skin. Like it was a really, really good skin match. And it definitely like evened out my skin tone, which is what I love about it. If you guys have any recommendations of cheap affordable drugstore foundations then please let me know i'm also very curious of trying out some like high-end foundations oh my god wait <laughs> what <laughs> 
Wait, this bitch is on a something. Girl. <laughs> Whoa. Dude, I can't even see my fucking pores. This shit is crazy in per. <gasps> You can't even see! And the fucking can't- Oh my god, bitch! Wait! Ooh! Girl, I'm a makeup artist. <laughs> I'm a makeup artist. <laughs> Jordan Liberty? Um, more like for liberty and justice for all, you know what I'm saying? I'm shook. Okay, here's the thing. I already know Jackie Ina said something about like putting powder under your foundation or whatever. But like, I didn't expect this to be this game changing or life changing, like dead ass. Like I'm fucking shook. What was that been doing? You know what I'm saying? I'm already having a hard time trying to blend my foundation on my fucking forehead. I don't know if I'm missing any spots or whatever. <gasps> my fucking forehead. Fine lines where? My fine lines fucking disappeared. Did y'all, do y'all see? Also, ignore my eyes. I know they look really, really red. But holy, okay. You know what? I'm gonna live by this routine, okay? Like, I'm already living, and that speaks a lot. Oh my god, my battery is 10%. Oh my god. Blending everything to the neck. Don't forget the neck. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be taking the ColourPop concealer in the shade Medium 22 that I haven't used in a long time. And I'm just gonna add some concealer right here, a little bit over here. All these TikTok songs are in my head. I'm getting infected. I'm suffering from the beer virus. Uh, remember the whole coronavirus thing that's still happening? I hope everyone who has the coronavirus is okay. Yeah, I'm gonna use a brush because I'm too lazy to wet my sponge. I don't know what kind of brush I wanna use for my concealer. You know what? I'm gonna use this because at this point, I really could get two shits. I also low-key don't wanna set my concealer using powder because I just feel like if I do that, then I'm gonna have really prominent fine lines that are gonna pop out if I do. So I'm not gonna do that. But I feel like with this new method, I feel like I wouldn't have that, but you never really know, right? So I'm just gonna play it safe by not setting the concealer with powder. Okay, so the next step is contours. So I'm gonna be taking the Makeup Revolution Mega Bronzer in the shade Cool. And basically, I'm gonna take my contour brush. This is a Morphe M438 brush, as you can see. And I'm just gonna take the product, take some of the excess off and just blend everything out. Give it some dimension, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, ooh, you know what would be a good idea? If I do like all my producer friends makeup, that would be so fun. I know a friend of mine, her name is Valentine and she also makes music too. Check her out by the way, she's amazing. Anyways, she loves makeup as well. She's really into pinks, purples, and blues. So like all the cool colors and shit. Which, honestly, same. And I would love to do her makeup one day. I would love to be friends with Jeannie Mai too. She seems really cool. Oh my god, I almost forgot. I forgot to contour my jawline. What else should I do next? I think, I think I'm gonna do my brows next. Now that I blended my contour out a bit. Should I also do bronzer as well? Normally what I would do is I would take the Anastasia Beverly Hill powder bronzer in the shade cappuccino. This is what the shade looks like. It's a lot more warm. Whenever I put it on, it looks a lot more reddish than I would than usual. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of it, just dust it off with my wrist, and I would just put a little bit of it on the areas I have contour just to give my face a little bit of that warmth. I'm gonna add blush and highlight in a bit. But before I do that, I'm gonna just gonna do my brows. I'm gonna be using the NYX uh, Film Fluff Eyebrow Pomade, Pomade, whatever, I don't care. Pencil in the shade Espresso, and it's a really dark brown kind of shade. For this product specifically, you really have to go light hand on this, because if you go straight in, it is like super pigmented, so you have to be really careful. Like, I am literally hovering because that's how pigmented it really is. I think I'm gonna do my brows off camera because this is hard, <laughs> um, but I'll be right back. Okay, so I've done my brows and personally, I do not know how to feel about it. Um, I almost forgot that I need to put on some brow gel to lay the brows in place. And so I'm gonna be taking the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in the shade black. Now let's get into the eyeshadow. For this look, 
I'm gonna be relying on the BH Cosmetics Blush Neutrals Eyeshadow Palette. But I'm pretty sure that I could definitely find a color that matches with this drink. I think this can definitely match, but I feel like I wanna go for something a little bit brighter. Yeah, I think this shade right here is a really good match, but I'm thinking I wanna do something with this shade too. So what I can do is I'm gonna take this shade and I'm gonna lay it out on the outer and then I could put the brighter shade on the rest of the lid and then maybe I could go in with a different palette that has like a dual brown like peach to yellow, like peach to gold. There is this shade that I could use that I could put on the rest of my lid. So that should be interesting. Looks like we have a game plan set. But before we go right into the eyeshadow, we're gonna prime our lids. I'm gonna be using the P. Louise eyeshadow base in the shade Rumor 2. I'm just gonna pat this down. I know that this shade in particular is way too light for my lid, but at the same time, this is low-key a good thing because if you're trying to add like bold shades, then having a lighter base or even a white base is really good. So that way you can get a lot of color payoff, which is what I kind of want. You know what I'm saying? It looks ridiculous. I know, but don't worry you guys. I ain't trying to do you guys dirty like that. I really just want you guys to trust me. Dude, I haven't even done eyeshadow in a long time and I'm like low-key scared. <laughs> I'm gonna do more on the other side now. All right, so now, <laughs> oh my God, now that we laid everything down. Ooh, wait, actually, should I go for this shade and this shade? Cause I feel like they wouldn't be that big of a difference or should I like plates? Hmm. I feel like they're both in the same undertone. So I feel like I'm gonna work with these two instead. I think I'm gonna go with my all-time favorite brush. This is the Morphe M507. Now I love this brush because it fits with my uh, crease and my eye really well. So it's easy for me to blend all the shades without having to worry about like, I guess like, I don't know, you'll see what I mean. But I think I'm gonna go with this Japanese brush so that way I could easily lay down the shade that I want to blend out on the outer corner. So I think that should be a good game plan for me. I'm gonna take this shade right here and I'm just gonna bring that in the outer corner. I'm gonna grab my mirror again because I can't even see what I'm doing. Wish me luck, you guys. So I'm pretty much done with laying out uh, the eyeshadow in the outer corner. Now we're gonna go to the inner corner. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna basically pack on this color on the rest of my lid. I wish it had a mirror on it, that would be cool. But anyways, I'm gonna take that shade that I just mentioned previously and I'm just gonna basically pat it down on the rest of my lid. <laughs> to other shade that I used just to add a little bit more pigment as well as blending both of the colors together. I'm just lightly going in with the first shade that I used just so that the blend is seamless. <laughs> actually really cute. <laughs> I'm doing such a good job. So proud of myself. We love self-love. Everyone deserves self-love, dead ass. Self-hate is annoying. <laughs> uh, it sounds funny, but it honestly is so true. Like, oh my God, I'm just really happy that I'm in a better place mentally. I mean, even though I kind of relapsed a little bit, like two days ago, I know at the end of the day that I could always figure out a way to bounce back and that, you know, it's not the end of the world. There's always room for growth, and I shouldn't beat myself up whenever it comes to falling for bad habits, because you're not gonna overcome those bad habits overnight. And that's what a lot of people forget, and I forget too, personally, you know what I'm saying? So always remember to care for yourself, and if you notice that you make the same mistake, or that you made the same mistake over and over again, instead of self-deprecating about it and dwell upon that emotion, 
instead be like, okay, I noticed that I've done something recently that I've already done before that has not benefited my mental health or my well-being at all. So now that I'm coming to terms with that, what can I do differently to solve that problem? Huh? It's just a change of perspective. And I guess like, I know that the more I think that way, the more I become introspective with my behavior, the negative things that I think about myself is just my anxiety and my depression and my autism talking. So instead, what can I do differently so that way it doesn't happen again or not as often, <laughs> realistically? <sighs> Self-hatred is just the worst, okay? We don't want no self-deprecation up in here. We're all for that positivity. And if you're sad right now, it's okay, but understand that things will get better and that as long as you continue to improve on yourself and as long as you make changes that will help you grow, instead of like, you know, hurting yourself, then you'll be fine in no time. I promise you that. Okay, I'm gonna be using this shade, which is called Lolly, and I'm gonna take my ring finger and I'm just gonna pat this color on the rest of my lid because I wanna get that like dimension going. Oh, oh, I already see it, I already see it, I already see it, I already see it, and I'm looking for it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> I wish you can see it in person. This is so pretty. I'm living. Now I'm just laying it up a little bit so the pigment will pop off even more because I live for shine and dimension. Do you guys see it now? Like when I look down like this, you can definitely see it. If you look at it in person, you'll definitely notice for sure. So good. Okay, I'm gonna do the other side now. I'm just gonna pat this again. Doing this side is a little bit hard to do to be honest because I'm using my right hand on the left side of my face, which is kind of making it a little bit difficult, but it's okay. Do you guys like see that? Like this dimension, this glow, I can't. I literally cannot. This is beautiful. And even when I swatch, I'm gonna do the under eye. I think I'm done using this palette. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some eyeliner, <laughs> which I hate doing, cause it's like so hard to do. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my liner off camera so you don't have to see me suffer. And <laughs> I'll get back to you once I do all that. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I kind of fucked up with the liner, but I'm just gonna work with it because honestly, I don't wanna risk it at this point. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna go for mascara now. I haven't worn mascara in a hot minute. This is uh, uh, the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. And I'm just gonna put that on my lashes. I also haven't worn fake lashes in a hot minute, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm lazy. Hey Google, what time is it right now? 10.02. Jesus Christ, I've been doing this shit for an hour. What the hell? I also have work tomorrow too. Why? I swear my lashes are so stubborn. <laughs> it looks really messy. Why did I do that? Whatever, I'm gonna roll with it. For fake freckles, I'm gonna be using the Essence Ironer Pen in the shade Brown, just because it just looks more realistic that way. And I'm just gonna use this to dot my face. Then I pat them so that they fade away a little bit so that way I can have that realistic effect. I'm trying to make fake freckles work for me. I'm really bad at like trying to figure out where to place my freckles because they all look like they're like in square patterns, you know what I mean? How does my sister make these freckles more realistic? Because they look like they're so symmetrical. I don't know, they look bad. I mean, they look cute, I guess, but like, I just like the way I applied them looks weird. Oh, I smudged that one way too much. Oh no. Actually, I still need to use this palette because I want to use the blush in this. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this same shade that I used in like um, the inner lid or whatever. I'm going to use this blush brush. I'm going to do something different. So I'm going to like put all the blush in this area, I guess. So that way it has this cute kawaii anime blush effect. <laughs> Which is something that I'm not like used to. 
do because normally whenever I apply blush I apply like this and I apply some at the tip of my nose but I'm doing it a little bit different it's how a lot of e-girls would do and honestly this kind of looks cute what do you guys think let me know in the comments oh my god it looks so cute I'm gonna be using the BH Cosmetics Spotlight Highlight Palette and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take Take the shade Radiance right here. I'm just gonna apply that my cheekbones to have that glow. Do I look cute? Tell me I don't look cute. I fucking dare you. Exactly. You know I look cute. You're probably jealous. So shut the fuck up. Cause I already know I look cute. Oh my friend Valentine just texted me. I need to text her back because this look will not go to waste. Oh my god, I look I feel cute. That's how you know when the self-love hits. Put a little highlight over here, but mainly I just put my highlight in this area mostly. Oh, it looks so cute! Normally, I don't really wear lipstick at all, but before I put on any lipstick, I need to find my fanny pack. Okay, there it is. Because I need to get my chapstick. Just kidding, it's not chapstick, it's lip balm. I think I'm just gonna leave my lips as they are. I'm gonna set everything in place. I'm gonna go back to my setting spray. I gon' set it in place, beach. I think that about does it. With this look, oh my god. I feel like kawaii as hell. Oh my god, I feel so cute. Oh my god. So, that concludes this makeup look. I love it. This is so cute. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Subscribe, turn on your post notifications so you know when I post a new video. You can also follow me on all my social media links as well as my music links down in the description below. And yeah, that's it. I love you guys so much. And until then, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.